In the realm of morning television, moments of genuine emotion and raw human connection are rare, but they resonate deeply when they occur. On a recent episode of BBC Breakfast, viewers witnessed such a moment when Naga Munchidi, a seasoned presenter known for her poise and professionalism, fought back tears during a heart-wrenching interview. Today, we delve into the powerful story behind this emotional exchange and explore the profound impact it had on everyone involved. Hello, and welcome to AU News, your trusted source for the stories that matter most. I'm your host, and today, we're bringing you an intimate look at a recent BBC Breakfast segment that moved the nation. Naga Munchidi, alongside her co-host Charlie State, interviewed Ellen Room, a grieving mother who shared the devastating loss of her son Jewel Sweeney. The raw emotion displayed during this interview has sparked widespread empathy and discussions on critical issues affecting families everywhere. Let's uncover the details of this poignant story. The interview began with Naga Munchidi introducing Ellen Room, who bravely recounted the tragic death of her son, Jules Sweeney. Discovered dead in his bedroom in April 2022, Jules' death was a shock that Ellen is still grappling with. As Ellen described the heartbreaking circumstances, explaining her belief that Jules had fallen victim to an online challenge gone wrong, Naga's usually steady demeanor began to falter. Her voice broke as she offered words of comfort, visibly moved by Ellen's pain. Naga Munchidi, it's hard, it's hard, you know, I've lost my son. The emotional weight of Ellen's story was palpable. Ellen's call for stronger legislation to protect young people from the dangers of social media struck a chord with Naga, who struggled to maintain her composure. Ellen highlighted the insufficiencies of the current laws, such as the Digital Information and Smart Data Bill, which she argues does not go far enough. She passionately advocated for parents to have direct access to their children's social media accounts in the event of their death, a plea that resonated deeply with Naga and many viewers. Media analyst Naga Munchidi's reaction was a powerful reminder of the human element in journalism. Her tears were not just a sign of empathy but also a reflection of the broader concerns many parents have about the influence of social media on young lives. This moment of vulnerability broke the usual barriers of morning news, creating a space for genuine human connection and highlighting the urgent need for better protective measures online. As the interview progressed, Charlie State recognized the need for a pause and gently took over, discussing the legislative aspects of Ellen's case. His timely intervention allowed both Naga and Ellen a moment to collect themselves. Charlie's compassionate approach, suggesting they have a sip of water, provided a brief respite from the intense emotions. This seamless partnership between the hosts underscored the supportive environment that makes BBC Breakfast a beloved program. In the end, the interview with Ellen Room on BBC Breakfast was more than just a segment, it was a moment of profound empathy and humanity. Naga Munchidi's tears and Charlie State's compassionate support highlighted the emotional toll of such stories, not just on the families involved, but also on those who tell them. This episode serves as a powerful reminder of the impact of online challenges and the urgent need for stronger legislation to protect our youth. As we reflect on this moving interview, let us also remember the importance of compassion and support for one another, especially in times of profound grief. Thank you for joining us today. For more heartfelt stories and important updates, be sure to subscribe to AU News. Until next time, stay informed and stay compassionate.